So we visited that little side tavern before, with, with a few businessmen and everything, but let's explore now. Let's take a look around this new town. By barging into everyone's houses and stealing their stuff and talking to their old people. I wonder where my wife has gotten to. Oh, she's dead. Sorry. You didn't start wondering why she didn't come back after like 10 years? Ooh! I'm stealing from your attic. Got Aqua Heart. That's actually like a genuine useful thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's straight up here. Uh, keeps the wearer's heart as pure as the clearest spring water. Gives you combo power. And makes enemies' hit points visible. Oh, hey! That's kind of cool. On top of having combo power. Which, admittedly, I don't have a, t a great idea what that means, but, uh... A lot of these guys don't- a lot of these items don't even give us bonus effects. And, you, and uh, who knows how much flux even comes up. I don't know, it could be kind of nice just to have that visible. Maybe not you, maybe I'll use Setsuna, who's using this. There we go. So now she'll have the ability to make our hit points visible, and she's the one character I'll probably have in the party all the time, because she's currently our healer. <laughs> I think it's gonna be- it's probably always gonna be Setsuna, Ender, and then the other character getting swapped out. At least for now. As the, uh, list of party members inevitably increases over time, uh, I will reserve the ability to change my mind. <laughs> it's been a, lo a lot safer here since the present Lord took over. I certainly can't deny that. The atmosphere has really changed, though. It's like everyone's constantly on edge. It never felt like this when Lord Dynas was in power. Well, I it seems like a lot of it might have to do with the whole summoner situation. I mean, sacrifice situation. Damn it! Now that I've now that I've registered that this is basically Final Fantasy X in my head, uh, I'm gonna keep slipping up now. Not even on, pur on purpose. I'm in these children's bedroom and no one's questioning this. My brother can't stand the cold. Really, I'd like to go play outside, but I don't want to leave him by himself. The grown-ups say I should go play outside. Who wants to go outside when it's this cold, though? Go play in the snow? Brr! No thanks. I'm gonna stay in here and light things on fire. No one will stop me. No one will stop me. Ooh, creepy alley. With the usual locked chest. Alright, one day I'll figure out how to open up weird metally silvery chests, but until then, I don't know. <laughs> Grubbly clothed aid. I searched all across the land for Sprite Knight on Lord Avalo's orders. All the stones we ha have today were buried in ancient times. Now we just dig them up and reuse them. A lot of people don't know that, actually. Or a lot of people don't know that, actually. So it was the right way to go. I thought there was gonna be a follow-up line. People with no living relatives. People who've lost their homes. Tenderville is a place where people with nowhere left to run can turn to find peace and security. Until later in the game where it probably gets attacked by a giant monster or something. Because of, uh, of course it will. <laughs> I served under his his uh, former lordship, Lord Dynas, for s some 30 years. Back then, the monster attacks were a daily routine. We guards never had a moment's rest. See, they talk about how... It, it, didn't they say it's safer, and every, but everyone's on edge now? Sounds like there might be some rose-tinted goggles about the past if they were fighting monsters every day. It's a polka stop! I mean, a magical statue in the middle of town, showing their might and their grace. And definitely not a Pokestop. I'm definitely not going to try to swipe it left to right to make the to make the items fall out. I digress. Anything stashed about here? Hello. I think Tenderville's great. It's a very noble idea. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How come they don't have to have to work? What am I doing here working myself to the bone every day, exactly? Uh-oh. The freeloader argument's happening. It's all going to come crashing down now. Soon there will be a class divide, and a political party divide, and everyone's gonna scream- I'm just joking, there's no political parties, it's the kingdom. Ah, uh, they don't get to make choices, they have a king. To the north of Flonia are the- the Mislay Woods. Apparently, the woods hold some sort of secret. Mislay sure is a strange name, though. Or is it my sleigh? It might be my sleigh. Like, my sleigh, my hammer, my axe. Whee! <laughs> No one can enter the harbor without his lordship's permission. Alright. No one? That's very specific. Maybe they, they must have a blockade right now. That can't be how they would normally work every day. Otherwise, how do you have a harbor? This is the daddy snowman. Next, I'm going to make a smaller one. She's going to be the mommy snowman. It's going to be a dead snowman. 
I can't attack it though, this is in South Park. Me? I am playing in the snow with my daughter. Well, that's a man? Oh, it is. We have no need to fear monster attacks, so we lead peaceful lives, and it's all thanks to his lordship. And we're definitely not part of his, his PR campaign. <laughs> we just praise people's, uh, we just sing people's praises at random, because it's fun. Isn't this great? Okay. Getting a little freaked out about these apparently motion-detecting tr snow trees. They keep freaking out the moment I walk by them, and it's starting to bother me. His lordship is next room. I must ask that you do your utmost to avoid any discourtesy. Alright, I'll wipe my shoes, it's fine. We don't have feet. Oh, oh my god, we don't have feet. We don't have feet, we have creepy peg legs, I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> it's like, the, we're like the characters from Journey. Oh, uh, except we have arms, of course. Well, yeah, it's just like, it's like Journey and, uh, Necropolis and stuff like that. The lack of, lack of feet's actually really freaky when you notice it. It makes, it makes me wish that more characters were dressed like Nider right there. Where you can't see. This is where I would hide an item. No? You gotta check up close a little bit, because it's a little, it's just a tiny little glisten. A little, a little flare. Hi. Ah, oh, welcome. My soldiers have explained the situation to me. So, you are the next sacrifice. Yes, I am Setsuna. Or Setsuna. Damn it. <laughs> I received word that your ship had sunk and feared the worst. I am relieved to see that you are safe. Thank you. There is no need to thank me. In comparison to monsters, humans are weak creatures, thus they require protection. As sacrifice, you are to offer up your life in order to protect this whole land. As Lord of the Citadel, I must work to protect my people. Although the difference in scale may be vast, each of us plays a vital role. Yes, that is true. As luck would have it, we still have an operable airship here. I shall see that you are taken as close to the last lands as possible. Thank you very much for your kindness. However, dun dun dun! Certain circumstances prevent me from sending out the ship immediately. I am afraid you will have to wait for a little while. Is there something wrong? Akash, the shipwright, is missing. The ship cannot be flown without him. He is a skilled man, but a difficult one. Where on earth he could have hidden himself? Anyway, my men will find him. As soon as they do, I shall have the ship readied for you post haste. Until then, please make yourself comfortable here in the town. Of course, we're not going to do that. We're just going to immediately try to go find the ship, right? The former lord was a foolish and competent man. He made many grave errors. And who must suffer the consequences of those errors? The townspeople, of course. Oh, well, he's not... So much for the usual attempts of, like, getting sworn in and, like, not... Like, getting sworn in and, like, doing uh, doing right by the previous ruler is like, nope, immediately shitting on their reputation. Huh. So the shipwright's gone missing, huh? I hope nothing sinister's going on. Sinister. It's been quite a while now since we set out on our journey. All this time, the monsters have been increasing in number and growing ever more ferocious. I hope we don't end up having to find another way to continue our journey. Damn. You're all doom and gloom, ain't ya? We'll just have to do everything we can to make sure that that doesn't happen. Let's look for Akash. Yeah, good idea. It's better than waiting around here, anyway. I ain't got a clue how we're gonna set about looking for a shipwright we've never even met. But if we can find just one lead, that should help us speed up our departure to that little bit. Let's try asking around, see if any of the townspeople know where the Sakash might be. Yeah, you're right. Someone must know something. So let's have a look around town. Alright, let's have a look around town. Hello, you. That cursed Akash, off hiding somewhere, shirking his duties, no doubt. Our role is to trust in Lord Avalo, and to do so, uh, uh, and do so as he bids, no more, no less. I don't think they agree entirely. They may have some bitter differences. Information needed. Akash the shipwright? Nope, I haven't seen it. Why are you yelling? 
How about asking the other guard at the town entrance? Why is he shouting? Is it to suggest that maybe the person at the entrance knows? That was slightly odd. <laughs> Tender Villas is north of here through the Mislay Woods, or Mislay Woods. Uh, please make sure you watch out for the monsters in the Mislay Woods. Lodavalo has given us orders to find a cash to the shipwright. He is nowhere to be found inside the town. I suppose that just leaves Tenderville. But I can't leave my post, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's probably in Tenderville. <laughs> it's the only other location we know of. There's, th there's two locations, Mislay Woods and Tenderville, so... Let's check out those places. It's not like there's a giant complicated map with 50,000 places to go in. It's probably just hanging out right over there. Ooh, item. King Onion. King of the Onions. Do not underestimate his great oniony power. Where's my reward? Oh, there's nothing over here. I just figured they'd give me something for checking out that corner of the map. Anything blinking on the map? Don't see much. This probably isn't Tenderville, is it? Nope, just some cabin. Seemed too easy to get to and to be anything other than a weird side thing. But who knows? Oh look, they're cooking up here. Alright, so th this place is inhabited. They're doing all right. Oh, it's one. Oh, is this a, this is a sauna? As well as the monsters, the spatial distortions have also been causing lots of problems for humans. Is this some trial, some test of humanity's strength, or is it a portent of doom? I pray every day, I pray that the monsters and the distortions are not here to bring about humanity's destruction. As well as the monsters, the spatial... Blah, 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 blah. It's the same line again. Oh my god, I'm talking... I thought I was talking to the fireplace for a second there. Nope. Dude just likes to talk. So there wasn't anything I could do up here? Can't like steal his food? Or be a, uh, be otherwise a scum lord? Like, oh, I can... Oh, I can... Oh. Oh. Did not expect to be able to walk off in the distance. Looks like... Oh, you just ended up leaving, though. I was cut off guard by being able to walk that way at all, though. Yeah. It was kind of neat being able to draw on the snow, basically, by running through it. Can I run faster? Nope. That's how you run. I mean, that's how you... Oh, that's how you menu. Nope. Does not seem to be a running button for the screen. Hello. Black sweet potato. Oh. It's just a bridge. Whenever I see a landmark, I just think it's gonna be some sort of standout, like, instanced location. So I get surprised by just walking across it without, like, loading into a separate bridge screen or something. Alright, those are the Mysley Woods, as expected. Not a whole lot between here and there, just a, a couple of items. A potato, a, a sweet potato, an ice cucumber, and a... and a king, uh... king onion. What are you? You're a pom-pom monster! I love it! Kill it! Kill it with fire! And it's dead now. With fire. Yay, we done did a murder hard. The monsters are adorable in this game. It kind of undersells the stakes of like, Oh, the world's coming apart because there's monsters everywhere. We better sacrifice this girl's life now. And all the monsters are like, I'm a pom-pom monster. I'm a penguin with teeth. It's like I'm, I, I expect to find I expect to find like hellhounds given how they introduced the problem. Oh right, I have all these new things. Glow beat causes physical damage to all enemies. Uh, inflict paralysis, confusion, and stun. It costs thirty for each character. Damn. I kind of just want to see it though, honestly. Now, wow, that's every type of kill all at the same time. Well, that was fun. Look at all that stuff. Did I level up just now? I think I just leveled up. Yay! That's perfect, because I used up the, rest, the last of my energy. But if I level up, then I don't have to worry about it, because he just refills instantly. I do hope everyone levels up before I get to the next boss, because then we'll have a pool of energy to use without having to use items for it. At some point, we'll probably level slow, more slowly, and I'll have to worry about consumables more. Could just do it again, but it's probably a little excessive. I can use Shock. Leashes a blast of concentrated magical energy, uh, causing 
damage to targets near the... I, I, want, I just want to see it in, in action, honestly. Oh, the range didn't quite reach, did it? Alright. Aerial Strike. That was much more effective. That hit everyone. Nice. You got Lightning and End Thunder. That lets you add th Lightning to our teammates, which is nice. All allies. Oh, all, 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 all allies near the target. Let's take, we'll have to experiment to find out what that what that range ultimately means. But at least this character will be dead. Whoa. Bouncing attack. It is nice being able to see everyone's health. That's nice. Momentum. So now I know exactly how much health everybody has when I attack them. All these bouncing attacks, damn. Effective. Very close to going down. Let's just take them out right now, but instead of waiting. Help prevent them getting a, an attack off at all. Everybody hit him in his face! Oh no! They keep calling in more friends. What are we gonna do? All this experience. I don't know how I'm gonna cope with having so much experience. Mmm! <laughs> Oop. Did not mean to do that. There we go. I started casting Cure on accident. There we go. Now we're clear. Oh yeah, 84 experience. Yep. Sometimes it's good to fight enemies that keep calling in new friends. Can be a problem for wow, three he three three resurrection items. I just picked up like almost four four grand worth of item in that one chest. Oh, he seems important. Look, that little boy. He's being attacked by monsters. What's the little kid doing on his own in a place like this? Oh, hey. It's the kid from the from the Steam trading cards. That's that's a new that's a new source of spoilers that I never really fully anticipated. The idea that uh just being on Steam means you get trading cards for playing the game, and the trading cards can spoil ca the existence of certain characters. Wow, they can't hurt us. Okay. Well, if they can't hurt us. I'm not going to use any. I'm not going to use any energy against them. Wouldn't want to waste any of my en energy against something that can't fight back. There's no stakes. Look at all these items. I recognize you, kid. Your weird animal ear-looking things. Smart-looking boy. Phew, thanks! That was a close one. What's wrong? Are you lost? Lost? No, I'm on a journey! A journey? Where are you going? To the Last Lands. Whoa, whoa. Do you know what sort of place the Last Lands are exactly? They're definitely not the sort of place for a child to be traveling alone. Stop calling me a child already. My name is... Kier, apparently. Here, now stop treating me all like a little kid, all right? Even though I'm definitely a little kid. Sorry, Kier. Uh, we're going there too, to the Last Lands. Really? I'll come with you then. Hey, wait a minute. What do you think this is, kid? Wait. We need to at least get him to somewhere safe. We can't just leave him here, can we? Do what you want. Thanks. You look pretty scary with that mask on and all, but I guess you're actually a pretty nice guy. All right then, Kier shall accompany us for a little while. Phew, it's lucky you're so understanding. Unlike old man stick in the mud over here. Ugh. And he's in the party. You could tell he was gonna be in the party because he had a portrait and you could name him. Oh, so there goes any ambiguity about whether or not he might be around later. Oh. He's not on the screen, though. Weird, so he's in the party, but he's not in the party, because I can't actually use him as a character. That's that's interesting. Well, continuing on. I don't think we've had branching paths yet, so it's just a matter of running around in a straight line until we- Oh! Nope. I kind of seem like it might be one. That's actually- That's a decent way of animating water right there. Yeah, that's not bad. It's surprisingly convincing, considering, especially compared to like every other game, basically. <laughs> that's like that's the thing that people always mess up. Oh, let's do cyclone right in the middle. Boom! 
How are you guys feeling? Ooh, a little dead, apparently. All right. Bad time to be you guys. Yeah, the, the range on those attacks is fantastic. And they're down instantly. Whoa. It's a lot of unique items. Spider silk. Let's take a look at that one. Uh, no effect. Uh, flex bonus, ATP bonus, ATB bonus, and support bonus. Talisman can extract information from Sprite Knight that is used in it. It is able to see its previous and future owners and their fates. Oh. That's oddly dark. Continue we go. We're, I know we're gonna, I knew we'd be backtracking towards the came, way we came from to some extent because there's... There was clearly a bridge back there that we didn't have access to at that moment. When you get the drop on these guys, you really get a, a strong drop on them. That gives you the opportunity to do all these AoE attacks on them. Oh, well that fight's over too. Bye! Yeah! Look at all them items. Oh! Cyclone, un unscathed power. I don't see any reason not to turn it on, I guess. I'm not really sure what your motivation would be to not turn on on fluxes. Um, this seems like it'd be the way to go back towards that bridge we saw before. Maybe some of the fluxes eventually have negative effects. Admittedly, they just kind of throw the terms at you. They're like unscathed power. That means something, and they just don't tell you what it means. And so I I, pr I probably have to go like dig through a menu somewhere to figure out exactly the con what the uh, context is of my decision. Alright, no ambush this time. I, they, they actually caught me by surprise this time. I can still make a big ol' mess of their crew. Yeah! Wow, the range on that, the range on that is exceptional. Even, even without a bonus, it still takes out their entire team in those two attacks. Cause I, didn't, I didn't even have a CP to spend. Oh! Crap. Crap. I didn't mean to fall. I didn't mean to. The camera's just kind of close. Oh, this is the beginning, isn't it? Here we go. We're back to roughly where I left off before. That was a. That was literally the front entrance. In fact, as I was stopping, being like, "This is probably the front entrance," I actually walked uh, out of the instance and had to start the whole place over. But thankfully, it's actually really easy to circum circumvent entire fights just by walking in a slightly different pattern. So that makes it pretty easy to get back here. I didn't even have to fight anybody. I'm basically... I'm just... I, I could easily skip every fight, I think, in this game. I'm just fighting everyone because I don't want to, uh... Be, I don't want to be low on experience. That'd be a bummer. So if, if they have a specific number of, of enemies in a instance, I, I want to at least fight all of them. At least once. Just to make sure I'm on the right path. This game so far seems like it's relatively well-paced for experience, so if I fight everything when I first see it, it's probably gonna be good to go. So that's clearly gotta be the town. Why do you have to go through a dangerous forest to get there? That seems like a really bad place to put your Tenderville. It's, it'll be a nice safe haven from all of the horrible monsters. All you've gotta do is get through this entire forest of horrible monsters and you're all set. What could go wrong? I'm about to go in there and find out the whole place is freaking empty because nobody made it and they're all dead. Is that an item over here? Sure is. I saw you off in the distance. Seriously, I might just walk in here and f the whole place might just be empty. Like, no one ever made it through the forest. They're all dead. It's horrible. Hello? Oh, person. This is Tenderville. Have you come to apply to live here in the village? Um, we're looking for someone. Is there a man called Akash here? Akash the shipwright. Akash, not that I can remember. A lot of people pass through here. We let them come and go as they please. Well then why do you have to apply if apparently no, if everyone just can come and go? I guess we'll just have to ask around everywhere then. No, actually try asking the old man in the house at the farthest corner of the village. He's been here longer than anyone. So he might know something. Alright. That, those snowmen have antlers. One of them just has... This one looks happy because it's got antlers sticking out. This one looks like it just got impaled straight through the head and, never, and its facial expression never got a chance to change as it slowly dripped out all of its lifeblood. 
Or, you know, I shouldn't look at ink plots. Even if the sacrifice ke uh, sacrifices keep on going to the last lands, it won't change anything. It's pointless. They should just stop the whole thing. No matter how many sacrifices go and die, it won't make a bit of difference. I bet he's fun at parties. They said the old man at the end of town. A new little girl just arrived. I hope she'll be my f best friend. Oh yeah, the little girl. So the little girl from the front gate probably made it then. It's probably who they were talking about. It's very specific language to reuse. Wow, Weppy and Tally, you guys get around. Is it the same thing all the time? Um. So, if you have a flux bonus, fluxation will sometimes randomly occur when he or she uses a tech or combo in momentum mode. This allows them to power up with the fluxes attached. There are various types of flux bonus. They can be, uh, they can increase the power of techs, reduce the amount of MP they use, fill the ATB gauge after use, and much more. With the bonus, uh, which bonus is granted will depend on which talisman is equiped. When fluxation occurs during battle, the bonuses will be shown on screen once the battle is over. You can choose to add these bonuses to Sprite Knight Stones, allowing you to customize them as you wish. Oh. Interesting. Wait, so the items are adding permanent modifiers to my Sprite Knight Stones? Is that what we're saying? Because that's crazy. Let's see. So you're selling these two items? And they're both- they're both effective, but expensive, because I don't have any money. So I need to find someone that I'll sell- I can sell stuff to. Let's take a look at our, look at our text real quick then. Uh, you had a flux bonus, right? Um, shit. Uh, Sprite Knight, there we go. Fluxes, combo release. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense then. So I thought fluxes were just a thing that triggers at random, kind of like the, uh, the, uh, the thing that happens when you use momentum mode. I'm forgetting the exact terminology of it. It's only happened like two or three times now, but the other thing that triggers for momentum, I thought they were like that. But no, it seems like they might add permanent effects. Best way to know is, let's remove aerial strike. It's like, does that just... Yeah, it's just attached to that aerial strike, like, that, that skill, which is tradable, or not really tradable, because it's only set list as being usable by him. But that specific skill, which is practically like an item, basically, uh, has been permanently upgraded with combo release. Uh, don't have a great idea what it means, but I mean, I doubt it's bad. So, uh, in, as general, in general, these are probably all good things to have. You got one too, right? Unscathed power was attached to Cyclone. I think that means that once I learn... Once I learn the uh, fluxes from each talisman, I probably want to swap them out to other... I probably want to switch to other talismans to learn more flux bonuses, because that looks like a really big open area to stack all of your uh, fluxes. Interesting. I don't think I've seen a system quite like that in a game before. Let's go ahead and sell, because we have so many materials. I need my money. We, we picked up quite a bit, too. There we go. Wow, seven grand. I could actually afford one of those items right now if I want to. Uh, do I want a Sprite Knight? Sanctity, is that new? Throws Chakram's charged with magical energy, causing physical damage. Light to all enemies in a line from the user. Huh. Really have to line them up, though. Demi. Generate a gravity orb that drags foes towards its center, causing magical damage of time to all enemies near the target. That sounds insane. I mean, I already... I heard, might as well just acquire it, because it, it just uses some of the stuff that I already had. I've already sold 11 of that item, it's not like it cost me more at this point. In Chrono. Adds time element to all the attacks of... of uh, is that what she's called? Eterna? Like Eternity? She has time attacks. This adds uh, time to all your weapons. Interesting. Provoke, aerial strike, condense. This is a niter attack. Cast condensing magical energy on the select item, greatly increasing its potency. There's so many items here. A blunt blow uh, strikes the blunt side to possibly inflict paralysis. Wind slash, a vacuum wave. Causes damage to all enemies on line. Wise Testimony, there we go. Awakens latent energy in the bear's weapon, boosting magical attack power. 
Ooh. Ultimate truth. Heightens the senses along the barrier to, uh, to spot openings and enemy defenses, boosting crit rate. Also nice. And can be equipped by all. Parries. Activates parries in battle, triggering momentum mode when receiving an attack will reduce the damage received. So you can use momentum as a defensive measure, like as like an like an action game. That's crazy. Uh, that requires the sturdy sheet metal. Does that overlap with ultimate truth? Not at the moment. I'll grab one of each. There we go. So many options here. Let's pop a few of these on real quick. I've got an extra slot. Let's put a uh, physical pride. Yeah, boost my physical attack power. I'll go for that. Boom. And I'll give you maybe the ability to parry. Or the ultimate truth. That crit rate would be nice. If I stuck, uh... If I stuck parry on my healer, she would have a defensive measure. That kind of seems like a good idea. Give her the ability to defend herself. It'll take some experimentation to figure out what to do with some of this stuff. So Demi and then Chrono, they currently have Protect and Charge. Physical damage to all nearby enemies versus Demi. It's a range attack. Um, let's give you Demi and Chrono and... Wait, what happened to the other one? Protect and Charge. Am I crazy? You had another one, right? Oh, wait. I got mixed up because one of these is command, the other ones aren't. Uh, so for all, what, what was the other one I wanted? Am I crazy? I thought I had another one. Maybe not. Let's see, do I want protect or charge is the question. I, I'll go for protect, actually. Remove charge in favor of Demi. So she has a line attack, she has a protect at allies, and she has the ability to enhance weapons. That seems like a decent mix. You've got nothing else to learn right now. Alright, let's take some experimentation. A lot, of, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, the apothecary. I don't think I need any help from them. And I don't think I have anything to teach the chef right now. Let's grab a new weapon. Probably for, for Setsuna, because I'm actively using them. Aeris Dagger and Dress Barrage. Or Dress Barret. Um, let's grab this one. Oh, I can actually afford both, never mind. Alright. And so everyone got a pretty significant upgrade. That's like 50% bonus damage, like we're, we're in the early stages, so that whenever a weapon has like plus 10 damage, it's a big deal. Is that the girl from in front of the gate? Everyone who lives here lost their homes too, just like me and mommy. A shipwright? Has he lost his home too? You're looking for a shipwright? I'm sorry, we only arrived in this village recently. I'm so sorry I can't be of more help. Well, they said the far end of the village. Oh, actually, this, it might be this house. I was gonna check the top corner, but maybe it's right here. Hello? Um... Aha! Uh -huh, new residence, eh? I am Di- Whoa, it's Dynas, the previous leader. I didn't expect that, actually. I am Dynas, an old man with a lot of free time. If there is anything you wish to know about life here in the village, I shall be happy to tell you. Oh! No, we're here because we're looking for someone. Do you know Akash, the shipwright? Akash, yes, I know him well. You do? He is a capable man and an honorable one. He was close to the former lord of the citadel, you see. You, that's you. We desperately need an airship. Is he here the, in this village? No, he's not here. That'd be too easy, and you wouldn't have to fight a boss fight, so he's not, he's gonna be behind the boss. Haven't you played video games before? Uh, he's somewhere around Flonia, I should imagine. He usually spends his time in the pub there, grumbling to anyone who will listen. He has a habit of constantly tutting as he speaks. Tutting, eh? Looks like it was worth our while coming here. Come on, let's, back, let's head back, Enter. Thank you very much, Dinus. However, if you were to find him, 
He is not the sort of man who takes to being given orders. Why is it that you must have an airship anyway? This girl is a sacrifice. Oh, my, is that so? You carry a great burden on your shoulders, young lady. Surely, it must be fate that brought the sacrifice and her guard here. May I ask you one question? What is it? The sacrifices give the people hope. But there are also those who would hold the sacrificial ritual in doubt, and those who oppose it. Your journey will be an arduous and perilous one, and you know not if it shall be rewarded. Despite that, you are still prepared to see your pilgrimage through? Who knows what the future holds? I can trust your honesty far more than the empty promises of loose-lipped men. I am sorry for having doubted your resolve, forgive me. I apologize. It seems you are individuals who can be trusted. Perhaps it is my is by divine will that you have arrived here now. Very well. Let this old man do what he can to help. I'm going to take a nap now. Feel free to watch me. Give this to Akash the shipwright. You received old man's letter from Dinus. What's this? There is a little magic spell of sorts written inside. I think it should serve to open his eyes. Thank you. We're very grateful. But why are you being so kind to us? I once made an irreversible mistake, and as a result, a great many lost their lives. No matter how I may try to atone myself, those lives will not return. So, at the very least, I wish to aid the sacrifice on our pilgrimage, in order to save many future lives. Oh, isn't that nice? If you give my letter to Akash, I am sure he will help you. He is a stubborn man, but a capable one. When it comes to airships, he is unmatched in terms of both skill and knowledge. It sounds like it's time for our return trip. Take a quick look around a little bit, but it's probably about it for here. It is kind of funny that our trip all the way out here was just for the purpose of like... Uh, is he here? No, nah, but he says tut a lot. Alright, cool, let's go. <laughs> I'm happy, I think. My family, my friends, my lover, they're all gone now, but I'm still alive. I try to just be grateful for that. I'll just keep trying to convince myself, and then I'll be happy one day. Tale of Fortune. But it's with an A, it's with an a I L, like, it's Tale of Fortune. Goes on the booty. Ooh, flux bonus is MP consumed. This tale brings uh, good fortune to all those who touch it. Th this fortune continues to be passed on from person to person as if by fate. Should I give you that? Maybe I should give you MP Consumed. And I'll give you... Aqua Heart? Combo Power is a uh, mo modifier I don't think he has yet, right? On his, uh, on his stuff? Nope, I'm just on Scathe's power. So I could still add combo power. And we'll give her a chance to make, get more efficient MP usage, hopefully. And then her skills could be used more. We'll see. I think I'm interpreting this mechanic correctly. Snowflake Peppercorn! It's mine, and no one can take it. Oh, another one of these. They're just around. It's weird. Lord Avala was such a kind man, he just can't bear to see people suffer. If people can become just a little healthier, just a little happier, well, that's all Lord Avala wants in return. I doubt that. People sing his praises so thoroughly now that it just makes me extra sure that something's going to be secretly wrong with him. He's got 17 little girl dog chimeras in his basement or something. Alright. We'll see if I can safely leave without, or if a uh, new scene will trigger. No, I think they're letting me go. Alright. So I'm probably going to call the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching, and, uh, I think we'll start the next episode having already been back in town, unless something else comes up along the way. We'll see.